After a tough week for Republicans in Washington, there seems to be an oasis on the horizon. The White House and Republicans pivot after another failed health care push. Republicans are trying to come together on tax reform after bruising and divisive battles on health care. Yes, finally, taxes. That's a much better subject for Republicans than health care. You know, Republicans are like that jock at school who's bad at every subject but kills it at P.E. Yeah. <laughs> All day he's struggling in math and history, but then he gets to the gym and he's just dunking on everybody. Boom! You're in my world now, Michael. That's two more points for me. So I'm up to, um... <laughs> oh, no. Gym class became math class. <laughs> so forget Obamacare. It's done. Trump is moving on to taxes. And in Indiana yesterday, he explained his plan. And it sounds real good for the common man. Democrats and Republicans in Congress should come together, finally, to deliver this giant win for the American people and begin middle-class miracle. It's called a middle-class miracle, once again. It's also called a miracle for our great companies, a miracle for the middle class, for the working person. This tax plan brought to you by the word miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. If Jesus spoke like Trump, I don't think he would have been half as popular. <laughs> I turned water into wine, a miracle. This miracle thing I do with the bread, a miracle. Curing lepers, a miracle. People would have been like, you know what, I'm just gonna stay dead, man. It's fine, don't touch me. Don't touch me, I'm fine, I'm fine. Although, by, uh, by the way, this is how generous Donald Trump is. This middle-class miracle stays in the middle class. Our framework includes our explicit commitment that tax reform will protect low-income and middle-income households, not the wealthy and well-connected. They can call me all they want. It's not gonna help. I'm doing the right thing. And it's not good for me, believe me. Yeah, yeah. It's not good for me. <laughs> believe me. Of course I believe you, Trump. Why wouldn't I? It's not like you've ever lied. I mean, <laughs> don't be so insecure, man. Like... <laughs> but just in case, just in case, let's look at some of the details <laughs> of this tax reform plan. And let's see all the miracles that won't help Trump. Trump would stand to benefit from his tax plan in three major ways. First, from his new brackets, which are narrowed down to three and give the top bracket a roughly 4.6% tax cut. Second, he would save from the elimination of the alternative minimum tax. And third, by eliminating the estate tax, which mainly benefits the wealthiest, wealthiest Americans. What? <laughs> this whole plan is a cash cow for Trump? I'm I'm starting to wonder if the only reason he ran for president was to lower his own taxes. Uh, I hope so, I hope so, because it means he might resign the second he signs this thing into law. He'll just be like, and done. Okay, that's it for me, America. You've been great. Good luck with North Korea. I'm out, bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody, bye-bye. But still, but still, I'm really disappointed in Donald Trump because he said, believe me, and he was lying. Can you believe it? He said, believe me. 